Troopy Tool Gamer here, and I'm gonna show you how to change your D pad on your Xbox 360 controller. I mean, uh, I don't know if you, uh, this is my first time I ran into this problem. I don't know if it's common, I never did any research on it or anything like that, but uh, as you can see, I'll show you my other controller that's still okay. The D pad, right here, it has a stress, stress crack line. I used to play a lot of Injustice with the control that you see down here. That's down here anyway. And uh, what happened with the stress line crack is just that uh, from playing it, from it being, it being raised, you know, it had uh, it built up the stress line and eventually will crack into pieces. As a result, this is what happened. So I went to eBay. I found me one for like four dollars, so I will see how how much better or any improvement. I don't expect an improvement for the D-pad, but I just expect it to be the same quality anyway. But we'll see. And um, all you need is a security torch screwdriver. I got it off eBay for two dollars shipped to my house. I mean, you can find us at your local Home Depot. But me being lazy, I just ordered it. And that's it. It's also magnetic, so it will help you aiding once the bolts loose just come out because it's they suck. It's magnetic. So uh, I already started disassembling it, and uh, you know, I mean, you have you got one, two, you got three, four, five, six, and also there's one behind the sticker that I peeled back, and you see right here, I peeled back here. It's a serial number, and this, and there's a bolt back here. And take that out. As you see, no bullshit. This is magnetic. But anyway, so I'll take that bolt out. And that releases the back of the controller. You're going to leave those buttons in there because we're not worrying about that right now. What we're worrying about is this D-pad here. It's a very simple fix. So... As you know, try to remember how your D-pad sat in there. That's how mine was in there. I mean, I don't think it matters. They all have the four points on the end. But. So, as you see, take that one out. Out with that D-pad. Let's do a little comparison. Uh, they look exactly the same, so I don't see why it wouldn't function any different. Exactly the same. This is just shinier. That's not it. So, pop that in there. The face is down just like that. This is why this it has this little uh, this hole on this little rubber grommet thing, and uh, this lines up here. Just press it down there so it stays in place. Make sure it sits over everything else properly. Everything should line up as it should. As you see there. So, carefully place motherboard back, circuit board back for the controller. have the wiring facing up so it doesn't get you don't want to get it caught in between the controller and cause any failure or anything like that. Just have it facing up. And see it works properly again. Let's see how it feels compared to this one. This 
one feels a little bit better, just a tad bit. I don't know performance wise, but it feels better, I'll tell you that. So there you have it. Everything still feels exactly the same. None of my buttons feel like they're jamming or anything like that. D pad feels better. And uh, there you go. You know how to change the transformer D pad on your 360 controller if it ever goes bad, or if you just want to change it the color or whatever you would catch one of the big. Uh, thanks for watching. It's Chupito Gamer, and I'm out of here.